what? You're gonna kill me because you don't want to go into some fucking city. I was a slave. Here, in this fucking city. Well, help liberate it. That, that, that's closure, right? I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. Well, that seems When my master bloody tired waste. of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. Okay, that's a little unpleasant. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. I'm... I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zo. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that. Point I'm happy about taking the drink away, but it'll probably be better for it. Should have done it sooner, but. Alright, where to now? <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Um... I need to speak with Lords Morgren and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. Please, Sarah. I know you're probably angry with me, but I need your help. I don't know. Please. I could probably get it by uh, blackmailing her, but... Fine. But oh, you thank goodness. Me. Understand? And hopefully this goes a little better than the last She's with me. Couple of times she's asked for favors. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. It tends not to go very well when I try to get favors here. I seem to not be very good with the uh it's strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Ins and out. King Joffrey sat in the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This uh -oh. is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. 
Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. There we it's go. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Lord Tarwick. So would he be the wrong people, I take it? What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate she ears anyway. Is clear. <gasps> oh, really? My ears are that. not we'll delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. Stop it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? I'm sorry, I... I I'm, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You've told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! I have a feeling it's going to turn out the skinny one is actually... The one where he bought what is floating over there? And why would you oh. ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm. Is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. That's just my inventory. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? Well, that definitely seems I suspicious. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. He knows that, I would assume, Saren Tarwick, that could be useful, but let's eavesdrop on Andros here. We're going to find a halfway decent place. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How... Good for you, Andros. I'm both wrong. I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Perhaps it's just simply a case that the other one knows that things are not going to go well. Alright, let's head back this way. And talk to Morgren. I believe he was the <laughs> semi-friendly one. Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. Well, yes. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't Don't expecting down. to see you again, if I'm being honest. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me. I've heard you stopped selling ironwood. Not on my account, I hope. How did you... So it's true. It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner, bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place, that man would be nothing without me. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold, but I haven't the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, He's managed to get a Lannister involved. A Lannister? Well... Lyman. He may only be a third cousin. But he's a Lannister all the same. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. 
<laughs> Leave him alone. Rickard. Please excuse me. So that fellow... Find out what Andros and Lyman are planning. Okay. Lyman is somewhere... That's... Not Lyman, is it? Maybe? I don't really know. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well... Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still... Surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Well, that's promising at the least. Especially if you're thinking it's him. We'll see over this way, perhaps. Let's... I'd be kind of curious to listen to them, but... Sure, I guess let's talk to Lyman directly. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Oh, dear. Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. Ah, using the feminine wiles, perhaps? place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Um, let's... You look like you could use some company. Use the, uh... What are you doing all by yourself? Sly approach. I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... Well, I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Almost. Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Oh, time to get out. Lady Marjorie. Don't let her spot you. Do we have any control? Lady Marjorie. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Do we have the possibility to eavesdrop? Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. I'm curious about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. Oh, are we going to sell her out? Her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. 
Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. I might make use of it, however. You learned that from Andros? A man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira. And Sarah should be rather glad that he believed me. I suppose I should be rather glad that he believed me as well. I think perhaps approach him again. Maybe? Or is that not going to be an option? Yeah, there it is. Come on. Oh, there's my arrow. Let's try talking to him again. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just be quiet, Lyman. Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. You wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? Starting to become a crafty little mix, aren't we, Mira? Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. Oh, what? bloody. He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. Lord Whitehill won't be slaughtering anybody. With an army that size, he'll slaughter whoever he wants. But this is... You bloody traitor. Oh, this could get interesting. You promised me. Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. He's not going to be very happy. Of course, this also means Marjorie is going to find out. You've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. Oh, what a lovely shade of red. Right, we finally had some, hopefully, success.